Yeah, yeah, you know what time it is. It's a milk, man. Right now, I'm in Lake Devo in front of Ryerson University. I spoke to some of the students to find out what they wish they knew before coming to Ryerson. Why? Because the York video did good. If you haven't seen the York video, make sure you check it out. Link in the description below. But right now, we're going to get to Ryerson and let y'all know what's popping. Easy. Okay, cool. So I'm here with Ali Robertson, Brianna Xavier, uh, Zane, Valentina, Richard, Yasmin, Jason Capita, Victoria, Kira, Stuart, David. All right, so David, what's one thing you wish you knew before coming to Ryerson that you could tell the audience? Honestly, guys, save a lot of money because you're going to be spending a lot on food. If you prefer to go to Zanzibar, you can also spend a lot of money there. They didn't tell me about the Wi-Fi password first year. I had no Wi-Fi for four months. <laughs> so what did you do? How did you find out what your password was? I didn't until second <laughs> semester. Until one of my friends, again, told me, it was like, yo, it's just your email and your, and your password. I was like, what? Hold on, hold on. What's Zanzibar? Uh, it's a strip club. <laughs> um, anybody? Uh, yeah, um, it's right. It's right. It's like a two-minute walk from uh, Ryerson. So, is, do you go there to eat as well? No, I don't go to. Uh, no, 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 no. I wish I knew how stinky this whole place is. There's always like like grates with like hot steam and sewage coming out of it, and and like there's just sections of like Victoria Street and Gould Street that just smell like like dirt. One of the things I wish I knew before coming to Ryerson was how unsafe Victoria Street is with the safety injection site. Even at 7 a.m. in the morning when I'm walking to class, I still don't feel safe. Uh, I guess I wish I knew um, that this was an open campus because you just some campuses are just very closed off and this was a different, like, different area to be in. So you get to see a lot of different things, especially at nighttime. You don't know how to like, deal with those situations and sometimes you just get scared. A reoccurring street that keeps coming up is Victoria Street. I heard Victoria Street earlier. What is it about Victoria Street? I think off camera you said it smells like macaroni and cheese or something like that. There's this one section that like you, you walk right out and, and you just get hit with like the most inhuman, unnatural scent. And, and like I, you don't know where it comes from. There's no vents or anything. It's just it's just there. It's lingering. So what's the craziest thing that you saw at nighttime? Oh. I mean, there's people peeing everywhere sometimes. <laughs> they just like whip it out and there it is. And you're like, okay, now I have to deal with seeing that all my life. I wish I knew that um, I don't need to rush to buy the books right away. Cause uh, I know like uh, when we started in the first year, the teacher was like pushing us to buy the books. And then when we went to the campus store, the books were like so expensive. <laughs> okay, I wish I knew how to deal with professors. In what sense? How to deal with like, awkward situations, like situations where students don't feel comfortable because of a certain dominance over, uh, professor dominance. One thing I wish I knew before coming to Ryerson would be that there's actually a lot of um, opportunities for like off-campus living that are still super close to campus and are like within the student budget. Shout out Neil Wysick. Well, this is kind of silly, but um, it gets really cold here and I guess throughout the whole first year, I took the pathways outside to get to classes and there's, lo and behold, like secret passageways that connects all the buildings in the school. I would say I wish I knew how much of a commuter school it is. I wish I expanded my horizons a little bit more my first year and talked to people. I wish I socialized more, joined group chats, and like I didn't really party or anything. Go to Frosh Week. If there's one thing, go to Frosh Week, so yeah. So what took you so long to discover these secret passageways? Are you the type that once school's done, you just take the same route and head home? Yeah, like I don't love school, so I mean have one way to get out and that's it. Coming from the Caribbean, I, I had an image in my mind that Ryerson was going to be a lot more um, campus designed, so a lot more greenery, more fields, more sports and that sort of stuff. I thought we might have been placed a little bit more outwards and had a little bit more nature is what I'm trying to say. So there you have it, what students thought before they came to Ryerson. Anyways. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave your comments. We off this easy fan. So you had a big smile on your face when you said go to Frosh Week. Can you give us the info on what happens at Frosh Week? A party, getting lit, drink responsibly, kids. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't go Frosh Week, but I went to Frosh parties, so those were fun too. 
and I think you meet like people a lot more people than you would if you didn't go so you have to go but wait you just said you didn't party and now you're saying you partied a lot at Frost Week we have to break this down a little bit to the audience I went to you know one two parties one, that's two. it you know nothing serious so 